Well, good morning, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's 11th of October, Columbus Day, Monday. I hope if you have the day off today, you're having some a good time out there. Um, lucky you. Uh, here, a real quick uh, recap of last week. Again, this is week ending 9 October Saturday on a National Retail Federation calendar. And the big map here is trends versus last year, how our retail customers would look at the weather. Here in the U.S., the only one way to describe it, hot. Uh, pretty much dichotomy of the country, though. But uh, U.S. overall, number one hottest in 36 years. 3.8 warmer than a year ago and uh, wet, 83% wetter than last year. Wettest in three years, eighth wettest in 36. But again, a dichotomy of the country west versus east. So uh, starting to get a little more wintry uh, out west. Up in Canada, 1.8 warmer, warmest in 11 years, much above average, driest in 36. UK, uh, again, warmest in three. Europe, Europe overall, again, again depends on part of the Europe, but more eastern Europe was cold, but overall 1.4 cooler than last year. Russia continues their cooler trends, 3.3, coolest in four years. China hot, uh, warmest in 15 years, and number one, wettest in 36 years. So hot and wet is the theme across China. Spring down under, 1.2, warmest in three years for Australia. Uh, India a little bit cooler, and uh, again, Brazil a little bit cooler as well, but uh, wettest in three years. Uh, maps inset left are the trends versus average. Here this week, again, a week ending now 17 October. This is a Sunday uh, map. so. Um, Today to Sunday, again, dichotomy of the country, hot east, cold, winter west. Um, so again, just totally different change uh, across the country here. 3.6 warmer than last year, warmest in four, second hottest in 36 years. Again, so even though we got the cold trends west, but the U.S. overall still on the warm side. Wintry uh, weather for sure in the Rockies. We'll show a detailed map of that snow in the, in the Rockies. But 45% uh, wetter than last year, 13th wettest in 36 years, so above average precip. Uh, here's the snowfall maps. We'll be starting these up here um, probably with the next week's uh, update here. But again, this is for the six-day period ending October 17th here. So a lot of snow there in the higher terrain, uh, even in some of the valleys. So again, uh, pretty cold for sure. So they'll be plastering the snow out there on top of the, the mountaintops. On the other end of the spectrum here, and we still got to worry about the uh, hurricane season. We've got about 50 days left here to go. And a couple systems out there, again, close-in systems that we have to watch here now. Uh, still not out of the woods, so we're already at 20 systems, and again, we think we got several more in the in the works here as we go through the, the remaining few days here. Looking at, uh, again, the next week, uh, 18 through 24 October here, 1.8 warmer than last year, warmest in four years, so ninth warmest in 36 years. So warm-up, uh, even in parts of the West, uh, moderates a bit, uh, not as extreme as this week. Uh, so farmers will hopefully be out there harvesting their corn here in the central U.S., 64% drier than last year, driest in eight years. So they'll certainly uh, dry right there in the middle of the country where they need it to, to get the uh, corn crop and soy crops and wheat uh, out of the ground here. Looking at the two-week world aggregate here, 11 through 24 October here now. So again, dichotomy of the country in the U.S. Again, cold southwest-west and uh, warmer east. Uh, so again, enjoying the last bit of summer here, even though it's fall uh, in the eastern half of the country. Uh, Europe a little bit uh, near normal. Uh, cool spots, again, more towards southern Europe map it's at left is a uh, total precip and snow across the world so with that folks we hope you have a great week and we'll be back here probably earlier next week on sunday night have a great week